Congressman Greg Walden of the Second District of Oregon for five minutes. Well, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much, and Ranking Member Songus for uh, holding this hearing today um, on uh, the Mount Hood Cooper Spur Land Exchange Clarification Act, H.R. 3826. And I appreciate the supportive comments of both of you and others on this committee. Um, I'm a sponsor, along with uh, my colleague from uh, the Portland area, Mr. Blumenauer, uh, on this legislation. I've got a statement I'll enter for the record, but the long and the short of it is on March 30th of 2009, a federal law that Mr. Blumenauer and I both worked on for multiple years and eventually uh, morphed its way into a Senate bill and a big lands package, uh, Public Law 111.11, uh, took effect March 30th, 2009. In this legislation, there were all kinds of, of things that uh, were called for for protections and, and management around Mount Hood. One of the significant ones was an, a land exchange. And there would be 770 acres of private land at Cooper Spur would be exchanged for 120 acres of National Forest Service land uh, at government camp. Um, at the end of the day, the Congress told the Forest Service, our intent is that you get this exchange done in 16 months. Now, I'm a journalism major, not a math major, but I can even do the math to point to the fact that they have failed and failed miserably to accomplish this very simple land exchange that's very important to the Hood River community, uh, to the watershed there, um, and to the, the parties that are involved. Um, and so this legislation, unfortunately, is coming back to you all to tell the Forest Service once again to do what they were supposed to do back in 2009 or 16 months after that. It's been 85 months. There's been meetings, there's been mediation, they can't find an appraiser, and now we're hearing today from the Forest Service that, oh no, this won't work either because we'll need uh, a huge amount of time to, uh, to, to move forward, um, that it will, they've got to have at least a 24-foot wide trail easement along the trails that go through there. By the way, on the Mount Hood, that's the pretty much standard size easement the Forest Service has elsewhere. Um, that um, it, to find a joint appraiser, there's no way they could do it in 60 days. It'll take 120 and take at least another year or two years. Do you understand why people I represent are so frustrated with their federal government and lose faith with their government because they see the government, the Congress, pass a law and tell the agency to do something, and the agency just walks away. Eighty-five months have gone by, Mr. Chairman, 85 months, to do a simple land exchange pretty much spelled out in the statute, uh, which I could direct you to. I've got it right here. It explains the, the, the puts and takes and the boundaries, calls for the appraisers, the, the uh, private property owner is willing to share the cost in this. Um, I don't get it. I don't understand um, why an agency as big as the Forest Service can't get this done. And it really disturbs me to have to come back with my colleague from, uh, from the other part of Oregon and have to pass legislation with our senators to tell the Forest Service to once again do the job we told them in statute to do back in 2009. Um, Mrs. Tongas raised the issue of the wildlife refuge in the standoff there. That was in my district. And let me suggest that one of the underlying issues there that I'm dealing with even today with the Bureau of Land Management is a law that our delegation wrote called the Steens Management Cooperative Protection Act. And the Bureau of Land Management in this case was ordered by the government to provide fencing to keep cows out of the first in the nation cow-free wilderness. And out there in Burns, Oregon, they made a decision at the BLM and at the state office that no, we don't think that's what Congress intended. So they told the ranchers, you pay for the fencing when it was clear in our agreements and in the statute and in the record that the government was supposed to pay for it. And they said, well, we don't think that was the intent of Congress. I said, well, I'll tell you what, I can't say this often, but I actually wrote that law along with my colleagues, and I think we know what the intent was. These are the kind of things that cause people to really get frustrated, including their elected representatives. So I appreciate your bringing this bill up for consideration today. Um, we are working with our senators, and there's some language that uh, we may have coming forward to address some of these issues the Forest Service has raised, but the long and the short of it is, Mr. Chairman, there's no excuse for the Forest Service taking 85 months to do a land exchange. This is the only place on the planet where it takes that long. We need to figure out what went wrong and make sure this gets done in a timely manner. With that, Mr. Chairman, thank you for your indulgence. We appreciate your leadership.